Kenyans have been very eager to hear from Dorcas Gashagwa, the wife of Rigathi Gashagwa, on what she thinks about the impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa. And she came out yesterday and expressed herself on the impeachment. And uh, from what I see, uh, uh, it's like uh, she was trying to say, uh, mungu, uh, from what I can clearly get. Although she expressed herself to show some kind of confidence, uh, but the message I clearly got uh, is that uh, she seems to have given up on this idea of Rigadi Gashagwa's being impeached. And uh, before we start looking at it critically, let me give you an opportunity uh, to listen uh, to Dorcas Gachagua. But before I can go there, I have a man that I love. Many of you call him the Rigi. <laughs> Other one, others call him. Other call him the truthful man. He is the deputy president of the Republic of Kenya. There are people who have a problem believing that. He was prayed on the altar. One who is prayed from the altar, you can only remove him from the altar. Now, eh, uyo ni Dorcas Gashagwa, bibi ya Rigiji. Anatuambia kuwa, eh, Rigiji aezi tolewa mamlakani bila kupelekwa kwa alta. Hmm? Ama bila kupelekwa kwa eh, madabahu. Eh, na ni jambo la, la kufikiria sana. I'm thinking so much about it. What eh, message is he trying to send? And I will take you through one by one uh, so that we can see the bigger picture of the interpretation and why at the beginning I said she is likely to be a person who has given up. But before we start looking at it critically, let me give you an opportunity to subscribe if you are not yet subscribed so that any moment we release this kind of video, YouTube will always notify you. Remember the Socrative TV, our aim is to give you the bigger picture perspective of what is happening in the society. Yani tunaangalia mambo kwa upana zaidi ili tuweze kuelewa jamii yetu vizuri now uh, maybe here i think i should use uh, swahili uh, wanasiasa wa Kenya hasa wale wangazi za juu ikiwemo hata rais daktari William Samoei Ruto wametumia dini kama chombo cha kuwapea mamlaka na ilitumika sana na rais ambaye ni rais sasa hasa sehemu za Mount Kenya tulimuona alikuwa anatembea na fedha akipea wa hubiri na akijaribu eh, eh, kuomba ya kuwa waambie wa wafuasi wao ya kuwa ye ni yule aliyestahili kuwa rais and uh, indeed that strategy worked that's why we saw that Dr William Samoei Ruto became the president and we've seen that he has been supported by religious leaders and i see here uh, the lady that is dorcas gashagwa also wants to invoke religion whereby he, she wants to make it appear as if it's a matter of god versus uh, people so it's a matter of uh, so she is making rigadi gashagwa look like a very holy person who is being fought by very evil people okay so it is uh, like people are fighting against God. So uh, that is what, what she wants to portray to the audience or the, to the people who are listening to, uh, to, uh, to, to her. And my question is, is it true that impeachment of Rigathi Gashagwa is same or is non synonymous to fighting God? I don't think so. Because uh, it is in the constitution of the Republic of Kenya 
uh, how a, pre a deputy president or a president can be impeached, assuming they have done something that is not constitutional. So uh, this strategy or this move that the wife to Rigathi Gashagwa is actually approaching, I think uh, it is likely to tap into the emotions of the people who are there, but it is not practical. It does not give any results, especially from the fact that over 300 members of parliament have already vote, signed, ready to impeach uh, Rigathi uh, Gashagwa. And I also see that he is in the same manner or in, her, in the same manner as she is uh, trying to gain sympathy. You know, we have seen that uh, Rigathi Gashagwa is portraying himself as a person who is being attacked by people, a person who is being fought by the system because he is a truth teller. And he has been expressing that everywhere he, he was going. And I think he has also instructed uh, the wife that uh, she should also use the same strategy to seek sympathy, to make it appear like uh, he's actually being fought and frustrated by the government of Dr. William Samueruto, which I am not preview to know whether it is Rigadi who provoked Ruto or whatever. But what I can foresee here is a situation where uh, it is a sympathy-seeking move. Uh, and this sympathy, I don't think it will work very well because... Sympathy will have worked assuming election were closing, assuming we were, we were a few years or a few months to election, and then maybe the sympathy kind of politics will have worked. But we have over three years or about three years to election. So this sympathy, even though it can come, but after three years, the sympathy to Rigathi Gashagwa will no longer be there. So uh, it is a good strategy to use, politically speaking, but it is being used at the wrong time. And uh, 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 this is what leads me to say that if Rigathi Gashagwa will continue using these sympathy-seeking strategies uh, uh, to try and uh, um, maintain his position as the deputy president, I think uh, he may lose it very big. He may lose it very big because even this sympathy that he's using is directed to people, not to members of parliament. Assuming he was seeking some kind of sympathy to members of parliament who vote in the parliament, it will have worked. Anafata fute uruma kwa wabunge, si kwa wananchi. Wananchi ndiyo wanapiga kura tujakata. Na hao ndiyo wanamua kiongozi ambaye anakuja mamlakani. Ila ni wabunge ndiyo waneza mtoa mwewe rais ama naibu yake katika katika hicho cheo chake na hivi na hivi eh, ninge ningekuwa mimi ni naibu wa rais uh, rigathi gashagwa eh, kitu ambacho ningefanya ningewatafuta wabunge nizungumze nao nijaribu kuwaomba msamaha tuzungumze kam, kwa 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 undani tuone shida ilitokea wapi kama tunaweza suluhi suluhisha haya mambo ya kutembea eh, kwa makanisa Eh, kuomba ku, kwa kufanya ionekane kuwa ni wewe unateswa eh ndio kuna hisia ambazo watu watakuwa nazo ila hizo hisia zitakuwa tu za muda mchache na hizo hisia hazitazuia wabunge ku, ku, kupiga kura kukuondoa eh, ukumbuke ya kuwa kwanza hizi hisia za wananchi zinafanya wabunge wakasirike zaidi kwa maana wanaona ya kuwa wewe unawachomea Eh, unawachomea yani una waharibia unafanya wananchi waone kama watu wabaya kwa hivyo watafanya chochote wahesabu hakikisha wanakutoa mamlakani ili usiendelee kufanya wananchi wawachukie na hivyo ndivyo ndivyo eh, rigathi gashagwa atapoteza cheo chake cha unaibu wa rais eh, na ni napomaliza eh, uchambuzi huu eh, ama video hii eh, mimi ningekuwa rigadi acha ni rudie tena kile ambacho ningefanya ni kutafuta wabunge nizungumze nao kwa njia ya upole okay we need to talk in 
an understanding to persuade them not to intimidate. Of course, you've heard that Rigathi Kashyago has been intimidating these members of parliament. Hmm? Intimidation will not work here because uh, already uh, they are in large numbers and he's only one person. So as I come to the end, I want to emphasize that also religion should not be used on political fights. People should fight political fights politically. God does not uh, send someone to uh, break the constitution or does not allow someone to um, uh, disrespect maybe members of parliament or the president. It is not God who made Ruto and Digadi Kashagwa to misunderstand each other. That is their problem and they need to solve within themselves. They should not bring in God because even God can be angry with them. I don't know what you think about this. Please feel free to share with me your opinion at the comment box. Until you meet again, bye-bye.